Here's a segment from Prairie Public's documentary series, Built on Agriculture. It examines the role of modern machinery and farming experience in establishing a successful Manitoba farm operation. When we look at what does it cost to outfit a, an average Manitoba farm, you're going to look at well over a million dollars in new equipment, easily. Farmers are adopters. Farmers are innovators. They are continuously adopting and adjusting all the time. And a product, solution, service, technology provides a true value to a farm operation. It will be adopted very quickly. Precision agriculture, it's, it's a bit of a mindset. It's the ability to measure, monitor every single task on a farm. And how do I attain the highest efficiencies out of every task, every operation on my farm. I know my cost of production and how do I get the maximum yield, the maximum efficiencies, and eventually how do I control all the variables on my farm. If I can control it, how do I adjust it to, to make it work best for me and minimize my risks. You can't discount experience. It's still critical. Understanding the land capabilities and what it can do and can't do based on history and time still plays a critical role. I think what's changing is the amount of evidence, data that can now be collected and that ability to do a more in-depth analysis and, and to look at what has changed on my farm over the last 10 years and what am I seeing? Has my soil changed? Has the weather changed? What has been the impact of the crop rotations that I have? That is all captured now through documentation, through the equipment. Two crops that have seen dramatic increases in acres would be corn and soybeans in Manitoba. And that sort of reflects the nature of farming is that you continue to evolve. And whether it's weather patterns changing or the markets changing, growers, farmers will continue to adopt and adjust and look for where can I get the maximum efficiency out of my land, but also the profitability. 20, 30 years ago, the focal point of that tractor was the operator. Now on that tractor, the focal point of that piece of equipment is that monitor or that computer. That computer is running that piece of equipment now. And so the operator now is sitting and monitoring the activity of that tractor instead of driving it. The tractor will drive itself now. I'm Brett Sheffield from Pilot Mound, Manitoba. In our area, we mostly grow wheat and canola. We also grow barley and we're starting to grow some soybeans. But basically, we're planting and harvesting uh, grain to sell as a commodity. I'd grown up on the farm and always enjoyed being in the country. But really until I'd moved away and realized kind of the, the opportunities and, and how much I enjoyed living in Pilot Mound and in the country, I'd, I hadn't realized that that's what I'd pursue for a career. I was lucky that, that my parents had a small farm when I came back, so I was able to run their equipment. It wasn't anything fancy, but it was able to get the crop in. Good prices and some good weather turned out well for me, and I've been able to expand constantly each year to now where I'm at the point that I can buy my own equipment. I was excited a few years ago we got our first tractor with air conditioning, so that was kind of nice, and now we've moved on to where we're, we're running about three computer screens right in our cab. I came in when it was really a year before kind of this commodity price boom um, and I was able to buy my land at, at a more affordable price. Since then in our area alone it's jumped about 300 to 350 percent so that's helped my net worth but as far as buying land goes um, right now I can't afford it so I'm, I'm leaning more towards renting and going that way to try to get to cash flow early on in my farming career. I guess we're all risk takers because it's such a, a high input, high risk weather variable industry that we're in. But I guess I've just constantly tried to expand, constantly tried new things um, and taken things that I've learned at university uh, and just tried to, to make those happen on the farm and, and it's really helped me grow. Um, I've been able to grow over a, a thousand percent since I've started farming so it's, it's worked out really well so far.
The business of farming now has completely changed. We've moved into auto steer, we've moved into beautiful tractors instead of uh, open cab tractors, or even before that a horse and buggy. So it's, it's making farming a, a really attractive really attractive business to get involved in. It's something that's really exciting, it's something that's fun to do, and really we're moving away from the lifestyle thing to more of a business. I think that one of the main trends that we're seeing is the, the increase in land prices is, is pushing us to, to do things to really increase our productivity uh, on our current land base, where before we were looking to expand, 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 and increase our overall productivity that way. Now we're looking at what we can do to increase productivity on a per acre basis. And that's going to be able to help maintain uh, growth of bushels to help feed the growing population. I'm extremely passionate about farming. It's something that I, I wake up every day thinking about. It's something that on my off time, I spend time researching. It's just such an, an incredible industry to be involved in where we're involved in every single part of our business. We're there for planting the seed. Uh, we're watching to make sure that, it, that it's growing and we're there to harvest it. So in every single part of the business, we're able to sit there and be involved in it and watch something that we've done in the beginning of the year and see how it turns out in the output in the end. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts. And by the members of Prairie Public.